Sanatana, what is the meaning of Vaidika and Dharma meaning? And this Sanatana, Vaidika, Dharma can be called as Hindu Dharma also. What is the meaning of Hindu? Derivation we can see first. There are lot of shlokas come in Puranas regarding this Hindu word. Himsam dushayati iti Hindu. Himsa means violence. Dushayati means the one who hates the himsa. Himsa dushayati means a person who hates violence <coughs> is called Hindu. That means a Hindu is one who loves non-violence, hate violence, love what he loves, non-violence, ahimsa. Opposite to himsa, ahimsa. Himsam dusha yati, he loves ahimsa. Understood? This is one meaning. Another meaning, Hinam dushayati iti Hindu. Hinam, that which is very mean, mean mentality, mean behavior, lowest type of thinking, lowest behavior, lowest, you know, whatever is the lowest mean, mean very, very, very inferior, any talk or any thought, that any word, that which is very inferior, dushayati. Again, he hits. Hinam. Telugu also we use hinam. Rumba hinam ayakana. Tamil also we use that. Very, very meager. Like that. So, Hindu is one who always loves that which is very high. Superior thoughts, superior actions, superior words. Hinam dushayati Hindu. So, Hindus are those people who love non-violence. Hindus are those people who love a love, respect, forgiveness, compassion and so many other values and looking down upon those type of behavior which are very, very uh, inferior. You can expand on your own this way. Okay? Hinam dosha yati Hindu. 
himsam dushayati hindu. So hindu is one who loves generosity, compassion, love, affection, all divine qualities. It is not just by I am sitting here, a Swamini is speaking in Rishikesh Ashram, therefore they talk like any derivation. It's not so. Our history from the time immemorial, from the beginning of this creation that is proved. We have to remember that. A Hindu is one, we gave that derivation, it is proved from generations, generations, generations. We never attack anyone, we never con want to conquer any country, we never want to fight and encroach the other lands of other countries, we never kill other people of other religions, other uh, cultures, we never destroy other cultures, we have never destroyed us in the past or in the present or in future past. That is proved. If you see the history, this is the only culture, Hindu culture, which had never attacked, invaded any culture on any culture or any country anywhere in the world. We had never conquered anyone. This is the only culture in the world on the earth, I can say. I am proud of that. We are all proud to be born as Hindus. Not just I am sitting here on the Vyasa Pitam, I am talking, therefore the statements are true. No, our history proved that. Not 200 years behind history or 300 years before history. Thousands and thousands and thousands of years. You cannot count. From the creation onwards, this culture is like that. That is why we, this culture is surviving till today because of its uh, vast generosity, encompassing nature. Hindu culture is surviving in spite of thousands of years we were invaded. 700 years we were invaded by Mughals and different uh, uh, cultures from different uh, you know, places. People came and attacked our culture. 700 years we were in slavery. Later, for 300 years, we were in slavery by Britishers. Totally how many years? Thousands. Thousand years we were in slavery. They tried all the ways how to destroy this culture, Hindu <coughs> culture, Vedic culture. They made all attempts, nothing left out. They destroyed all the temples, 30,000 temples were destroyed in this country, 30,000. We are hearing only Ayodhya, Madhura and Kashi, we are listening. Totally 30,000 temples, all Gurukulams were banned, all Gurukulam were, were uh, eliminated. <coughs> and uh, wherever the cultural source is there, they attacked that. Because the culture is surviving in the Gurukulams, Veda Patashalas. That's why they stopped funding the Gurukulams. Then the Gurukulams become you know, no finance, they cannot survive. And all Brahmins, pundits became clerks under the British rule. They became clerks. That's what they want, they did it, 300 years we were ruled by British. 40,000 Britishers came, ruled 40 lakhs of Hindus. 
40,000 Britishers came, ruled how many people? 40, those 40 lakhs, our population. Before they were Britishers are coming, our population is very less. How many people came, how many lakhs of people we were, we were ruled by that. Because they used all sorts of violent methods. They killed so many people. Recently we went to Andaman. <coughs> Andaman, you know, all of you. Where, where Savarkar was imprisoned for 11 years. It is called a cellular jail. They are all islands, so no one can escape from there. Veera Savarkar was one freedom fighter who fought with the Britishers. He was imprisoned for 11 years. We saw that place last month we went there. Like that hundreds and hundreds, 350 imprisoned um, prisoners were there, all our Indians in that prison by Britishers. They thrashed like anything, they violently behaved and given lot of uh, severe punishments. You cannot hear that, how they punished. Slavery is such a uh, miserable incident happens to one's life in slavery. In spite of thousand years of attack, still this uh, culture is surviving. Roman culture <coughs> vanished, Egyptian culture vanished, many cultures vanish. But our culture is surviving because of Vedic wisdom. Why I am talking this much time? The power of survival of this Hindu culture is in Vedic wisdom. That's the point I want to highlight here. Vedic wisdom is that which is the truth, the ultimate truth for entire humanity. No one can suppress it. No one can stop it because of its power. Truth triumphs always we say. Satyam eva jayate. We should not go under slavery again. That life is so miserable. If you keep a bird in the prison without giving sufficient food, it, it has to fly. It wants to fly. Suppose you keep it in always in that you know, panjaram, cage. How it feels? It cries. <coughs> It cannot survive long time. However much you feed it, it won't like to eat us. When it is outside, it is so happy. The freedom. That's why Tagore and Lokamanitilak, all of them, <coughs> they fought, said freedom is my birthright. Like that, it went on, on and on and on. So Hindu culture, our Vedic culture is such a great culture, not just verbal we are saying. Great, great Mahatmas, Sadhus, Jnanis, wise people born in, the, in this culture, they are retaining this culture in the minds of people. Demonic nature Demonic culture, we cannot call it as culture. Demonic nature is not a culture. It is one sort of a sadist type nature. Human beings themselves, they have demonic nature, evil nature, destroying nature. What type of culture? That culture. So, Vedic culture it is, Vedas having the knowledge that which he addressed the human problem, ignorance. 
all the atrocities you are doing because of self ignorance all com- mistakes you are committing because of self ignorance that address the core problem of the individual vedas therefore vedic wisdom vedas so vast in nature i said yesterday it is a life manual guideline it is a guide for us it is our job to open it and look into that with the help of another guide <laughs> who can operate the words properly unfold the subject that's what which is swami ji did decades together unfolding the truth to everyone whoever wants come on i unfold the truth whatever is there in the scriptures renouncing everything and dedicating his time energy everything to unfold that knowledge for all seekers who are all coming from all over the world who just swami ji has got hundreds and hundreds of students in different different cultures countries languages religions how they embrace because that knowledge wisdom so what is there in vedas vedic wisdom it is our responsibility to know when you ask the guru will give that knowledge vedic knowledge so sanatanam it is eternal it is dharma universal law it is if you join with the dharma you are blessed if you don't join you are unfortunate let me be in that dharma sanatana dharma let me also grow let me also mature let me also refine myself let me also enlighten in this sanatana vaidika dharma you are fortunate man man to divine man animal nature to human nature If human nature is not there it is animal nature human being should not go backwards animal nature killing others destroying others for no reason for my selfish ends i hurt people i destroy people i destroy other cultures it is even lesser than animal nature animal when it feels hungry only it hunts the animal other animal otherwise it never touch even deer coming and drinking water also lion is not hungry or tiger is not hungry it will never harm that tiger and that deer they have their own la <laughs> but human being most horrible animal man to man man one has to become man man to divine man to become a divine man this is the only culture in the world that is hindu culture if you know you are blessed if you don't know all the best next birth <laughs> it is my job my responsibility to make you all to understand this if you understand the greatness of this culture vivekananda roared i am proud to be as a hindu rousing call to hindu nation we have a great responsibility to show the world the spirituality to the entire humanity you are the divine human being please understand 
नॉट खाओ पीवो मजा करो जस्ट अर्निंग एंजॉयिंग इज नॉट द लाइफ देर इज मच मोर टू अंडरस्टैंड कमान द स्पिरिचुअलिटी इज हियर ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इवन लिविंग हियर ऑल्सो यू कैन बिकम ए वेस्टर्नर अब वेस्टर्नर कैन लिव इन वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज कैन बी ए सनातन हिंदू हैव यू गट द पॉइंट इवन ए पर्सन विदउट सनातन धर्म नॉलेज सनातन धर्म लाइफ स्टाइल ए पर्सन लिवस हियर हिस ए वेस्टर्नर ही इज नॉट ए सनातन विथ वेस्टर्न इंटरेस्ट सपोज ये वेस्टर्नर लिविंग इन वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज विथ सनातन लाइक ऑल द ब्रेजिलियंस यू सी how they are chanting how they are meditating how they are studying shastra they are all sanatanis living in brazil understand now just by living in bharat in hindu culture you cannot be a hindu unless you understand they are all hindus only because they have adopted they have accepted they have embraced swami ji never say you change your name you convert your religion who is swami ji never said christians comes many many countries they used to ask swami ji shall i change my name no you need not change your name unless you take sanyasa you need not change your name A religion can i change you need not change your religion also <laughs> then what to do and you need not do anything then listen to me swami ji says listen to my words understand what is sanatan dharma what is hindu dharma what is vaidika dharma you understand that's enough for me you don't find such a great vijnani very rare with a broad vision great highest knowledge coming down to the earth reaching down to the earth means not coming from heaven to earth going to the hearts of the people of all walks of life people making them to understand this uh, sanatan dharma you understand here not by just changing external that doesn't work so all these my words are to drive you towards that how great sanatan dharma sanatan vaidika dharma or hindu dharma all must know when when you lead a life of the culture vedic culture hindu culture sanatan dharma when you follow certain disciplines <clears throat> certain norms in your daily day to day life shastra prescribed for your refinement there comes a sanskriti sampradaya later that will i talk tomorrow elaborate now i am focusing upon the hindu <coughs> another shloka is there beautifully for hindu word <coughs> himalayam samarabhya himalayam samarabhya starting from himalayas hindu culture is there that which started from himalayas yava dindu sarovar hindu mahasagar water no? ocean until kashmir to kanyakumari himalayam samarabhya yava hindu sarovaram yam desham daiva nirmitam that land yam desham daiva nirmitam created by bhagavan yam desham daiva nirmitam hindustanam prachakshate that place is called hindustanam
ಹಿಮಾಲಯಂ ಸಮಾರಭ್ಯ ಯಾವದಿಂದು ಸರೋವರಂ ಯಂ ದೇಶ ದೈವ ನಿರ್ಮಿತ ಹಿಂದೂಸ್ಥಾನ ಪ್ರಚಕ್ಷತೆ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಐ ವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಯು ಎಸ್ ಎ ಥರ್ಟೀನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಐ ವೆಂಟ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಐ ವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಫರ್ ಸತ್ಸಂಗ ಫರ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾದರ್ ವೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ತಮಿಳ್ನಾಡು ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಕುಂಭಕೋಣ ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಟೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಅಮೆರಿಕಾ ಸೆಟಲ್ಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಎ ಬಿಗ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಆರ್ಥೋಡಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸತ್ಸಂಗ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಆಲ್ ವರ್ ಸಿಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾದರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅಪ್ರೋಚಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ನಿಯರ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಿಜಿ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಿಜಿ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮೈ ಸನ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಟು ಭಾರತ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಶೆಟಿಲ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಗ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಹಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಶೇರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದೆನ್ ಸನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸಿಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಿ ವೇರ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಶ್ ಡೇ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅವರ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಹಿಯರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸಿ ಮೈ ಪೂಜಾ ರೂಮ್ ಹೌ ಬಿಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಬಿಗ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಐ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಮೈ ಫಾದರ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟೇ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪೂಜಾ ರೂಮ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಹಾಫ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹಾಲ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ಬಿಗ್ ಪೂಜಾ ರೂಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಬಿಗ್ ಪೂಜಾ ರೂಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಹೌ ಐ ಐ ವಾಸ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಇನ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಫಾದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಡನ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಎ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಶೇರ್ಡ್ ಟು ದಿ ಸನ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಯು ಎಸ್ ಎ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಲ್ ಅವರ್ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ರುದ್ರಮ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಪೂಜಾ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಐ ಗಿವ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಶೇರ್ ವಿತ್ ಹ್ಯೂ ಸಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಏಟ್ ರೂಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಹೌಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಸನ್ ಐ ಆರ್ ದ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಏಟ್ ರೂಮ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ರೂಮ್ ಡೈನಿಂಗ್ ಹಾಲ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ರೂಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ರೂಮ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ರೂಮ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಯು ಲೋನ್ ದೇ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟ್ ಬಿಗ್ ಬಿಗ್ ಹೌಸಸ್ ಸೊ ಅವ್ರ ರೂಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಪೂಜಾ ರೂಮ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದೇರ್ ಐ ಆಸ್ಕಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಡೈನಿಂಗ್ ಹಾಲ್ ಕಿಚನ್ ರೂಮ್ ಬೆಡ್ರೂಮ್ ಪೂಜಾ ರೂಮ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಮಿ ಆಲ್ ರೂಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಪೂಜಾ ರೂಮ್ ಬೆಡ್ರೂಮ್ ಮೂತ ಸೇಮ್ ಪೂಜಾ ರೂಮ್ ಕಿಚನ್ ಮೂತ ಸೇಮ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ನೋ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಪೂಜಾ ರೂಮ್ ವಿ ಲೀವ್ ಚಪ್ಪಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೋ ಬೆಡ್ರೂಮ್ ವಿ ಲೀವ್ ಎ ವೇರ್ ಚಪ್ಪಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಗೋ ಈವನ್ ಟೈನಿಂಗ್ ಹಾಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ವೇರ್ ಚಪ್ಪಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗೋ ಬಟ್ ಪೂಜಾ ರೂಮ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೈ ವೈ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಸಿಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವಿ ಡೂ ಪೂಜಾ ಆರತಿ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಕೆನ್ ವಿ ಗೋ ದೇ ಭಾರತ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಪೂಜಾ ರೂಮ್ ಆಲ್ ಅದರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಕಿಚನ್ ರೂಮ್ ಬೆಡ್ರೂಮ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ರೂಮ್ I am not criticizing. We need bedroom, kitchen room also. But Bharat is that where we get strength, energy, wisdom for the entire humanity. So therefore, just I shared with that person, okay Swamini, that is true, but how can I go? My daughter, the studies, education, my job. that is not your problem <laughs> my duty is over what i want to say i said what i want to tell you
ಹಿಮಾಲಯಂ ಸಮಾರಭ್ಯ ಯಾವದಿಂದು ಸರೋವರಂ ಎಂ ದೇಶಂ ದೈವ ನಿರ್ಮಿತ ಹಿಂದೂಸ್ಥಾನ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷತೆ ನೌ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹಿಂದೂ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಓವರ್ ಅನದರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಬಿಗ್ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೆಸ್ಟರ್ನ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಲೂಯೆನ್ಸ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಅನ್ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅನ್ ಆರ್ಡಿನರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಜನರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಅವರ ತಾತ 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 ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ 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 ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಮೈ ಗಾಡ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ಲಿ ಆಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಹಿಂದೀಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಕ್ರಿಶ್ಚಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮುಸ್ಲಿಮ್ಸ್ ನೌ ಆಲ್ ಬಂಗ್ಲಾದೇಶೀಸ್ ಪಾಕಿಸ್ತಾನೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದೇಮ್ ಆರ್ ವರ್ ಹಿಂದೂಸ್ ಯು ಕೌಂಟ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾಕಿಸ್ತಾನ್ ಬಂಗ್ಲಾದೇಶ್ they were converted hindus this is the history you cannot change the history no 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 swami yeah, you cannot change they were all forcefully converted their ancestors were all hindus that's why you go to bangladesh or um, indonesia sri lanka so many places you can see the hindu culture our people ancestors also went to other countries but they never attacked they never invaded they never destroyed other cultures they propagated their culture just by their anushthana those are interested they followed they never converted the religions they never attacked them they never inver- invaded them many of our ancestors traveled 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 so many places without hurting any single being in the creation that is the greatness of our sanatan dharma we should know that we should have to be proud to know that our ancestors are how great our rishis the rishis they were all once this attacks have taken place since uh, they have christianity religion islam religion and uh, our in our country also there are some religions born buddhism jainism that ism has come so then what they did they converted this hindu also hinduism this is what happened whole wrong history these are the facts wrong history we are studying now because christ born and established that religion christianity religion a founder by islam muhammad uh, even the born a founder and quran buddha born buddhism came jain mahavira born jainism came like that sikhism jainism zoroastrianism judaism judaism islam and um, islam and uh, christianity are all from outside within our country itself some mahatmas like buddha mahavira like that they have propagated their way of thinking philosophy and some people became buddhist some people became jains like that they are all offshoots of hinduism actually hinduism is a wrong version there is no ism according to sikhism buddhism jainism vaishnavism saivism can you bring hinduism also under that vaishnavism ramanuja vishishta advaita vallabhacharya pant there are so many sampradayas but hinduism if you want to say there must be a founder there must be a book can you prove any founder for hinduism can you show one book for hinduism 
then how can you call Hinduism? Why people don't think at all? Have you questioned any time? Any one of you thought of this? Anyone, please raise your hand. Anyone. None of you. In the question is not the question. What is the question? The question is, Ism is that a panth given by one person, Mahatma, who follow some extraordinary siddhi, something are there, suppose. And he gave his philosophy and he wrote a book or his teachings came as a book. Tell me if you want to call Hindu dharma as Hinduism, I want here now myself. Who is the founder? No answer. Then how can you call Hinduism as Hinduism? <coughs> Recently in Bangkok, Hindu religious or conference took place. They declared it is wrong name given in the course of time of a foreign invasion. They called this as Hinduism. It's a wrong uh, word to use Hindu dharma as Hinduism. They are all only religions. Hinduism is not a religion. As a religion we don't accept Hinduism. From Hindu dharma really you can say also Hindu dharma is the mother of all religions. From which the Panth Panth means Marga, Vaishnava Marga, Saiva Marga. Like that one one person love one God and worship. That is called religion. Faith. It is a faith. I love Shiva. Say wait, they say. If you are a strong Vishnu Bhakta, Vaishnava eat, they say. They follow Ramanuja, Pantha, worshipping Bhagavan, doing puja, archana, all those things. They will do. Nothing wrong. They can do. For the refinement of the mind, they are required. Religion is like a mother's womb. You have to grow in the womb of the mother like religion and grow and mature, come out of that and get knowledge. Otherwise you stuck in religion itself, it is incomplete. It is incomplete. That's why our Vedas talk about Karma Kanda, Upasana Kanda, is type of uh, an religious type. That is why we called it as Vedic religion. If at all you want to call it as a religion, because the religion word, word doesn't exist for us. It is your Abhipraya, it is your faith, your Namakam. In one house itself, one son worship Rama, mother worship Krishna, father worship Shakti, another son worship Hanuma. All of you are fighting? No fight. Everybody has their own photo. <laughs> that God photo. Happily they worship. Doesn't matter. Whom you worship, which form you worship. But you worship. You refine your mind, you get disciplined, your mind and grow, mature, be as a good person. Later, the more you refine, the more your mind becomes subtle, you come to Veda, Anta, Bhaga, Jnana Yoga. The Veda Pura Bhaga meant for that, refinement, Karma Kanda, lot of rituals, Yajna, Yaga, Homa, etc., etc. Vratas, Nomu, all those meant for what? To refine you, to culture you, to nurture you, not to get stuck with that. Nurture and grow, mature, live as a fine, no, healthy, divine human being. Then what next? <coughs> Shastra says, Veda says, you are. Atma Swarupam, 
that God, Paramatma, Jivatma, then you are eligible to that knowledge very much later. After doing this religious practices, these are all called religious practices. That is why in our country all practices of all religions happily live. There is no quarrel. But because of lack of understanding among people, there is fighting coming. Understanding is important. Hinduism doesn't exist. Hindu dharma exists. There are called sampradaya. Vaishnava sampradaya, Saiva sampradaya. Sampradaya that elaborately I will see tomorrow. So this must be very clear now. Hindu means I follow a way of life according to Vaidika Dharma or Hindu Dharma or Sanatana Vaidika Dharma. Lifestyle. Your way of thinking, your bhavana, your attitude, your duties, your according to this culture that which will why I am showing like this? <laughs> you have to grow, mature, mature, mature. Like gold, when it is in the earth, in the mines, gold mines. Can you see the gold? In the gold mine, one clod of mud you bring and put in the fire. One time is sufficient, gold comes, you will put necklace. Then what to do? You will put in another furnace. First furnace goes to next furnace, next furnace, first refinement, second refinement, third refinement, fourth refinement. My God, how many refinements? Later that gold comes. Then it goes to that goldsmith, then he makes it ornamental. You go to some gold shop and you buy that chain and put in your neck. Ah, what is chain? You never think that how much it has undergone into the fire and it has refined. Same way human life also. Human being life also, it has to go to under so many refinements. That is what our Vedika Dharma gives. First refinement from boyhood onwards. In education, sloka, chanting, puja, yoga, Surya Namaskar, so many disciplines, every day. There is a lot of samskaras later, like to refine. That's why they are called samskara. Garbhadana samskara, annaprasana samskara, why samskara? Samskaroti, the samskara, that which refines, that itself is a big topic, samskaras. So, Hindu dharma is that whole thing that which refines person. It's not Hinduism. Because we don't know. We means you people. I asked all of you, none of you have raised your hand. You have never questioned this. Now you can ask me so many questions. I will be here up to 12th. I am here. You can ask me. I will clarify. Hinduism is a wrong word used by the Britishers that we are carrying, carrying, carrying. I am asking who is the founder, what is the book? You have no answer. Like Buddhism, Jainism, Christianity, Islam, Sikhism, founder is there, book is there. Panth, Mazhab they call in Urdu, Mazhab. But what they are doing, mixing up. Islam dharma, Christianity dharma. It is not a dharma. It is a religion. We don't say Vaishnava dharma. Saiva dharma we don't say. Remember, we have to be very, very careful in using words. Do you say Vaishnava dharma? Do you say Saiva dharma? But how can you say Islam dharma? Islam is a mazhab. It is a religion. 
Christianity is a religion, it is not a dharma. People do not know and confusing and mixing up, messing up and confusing the people. Never use the word Hinduism, but they gave you an application, no? Government palms it up. You have to fill up. That's why all these British based law and rules and regulations have to be changed. All should come according to our culture. You have to ask basic questions. So finally I want to say Hindu Dharma, Hinduism word we don't want to use. Not don't want, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit like other religions. Vaidika Dharma, Hindu Dharma, Sanatana Dharma, Sanatana Vaidika Dharma, that's all. Then what is your religion? I am a Sanatani. I worship Hanuman, I worship Shiva, I worship Vishnu. I am a smart. Smart. <laughs> smart than a smart. <laughs> I am smart enough to go to Vishnu temple, Shiva temple, Shakti temple, Ganesha, Anjaneya. Some more you add. I am very happy also. <laughs> Doesn't matter. This is what Hindu. But Hindu, this type of Hindu word, you are going and putting in one narrow box, small container. Religion is even container like. Sikhism, Sikh, Pantha, that practices that religion, that Abhyasa, that discipline, one group that is, only one container. Buddhism, one container. Jainism, one container. Saivism, one container. What for? To refine you. To develop some samskara in you. Some good disciplines. That's all. Over. Later what? Then what? Where is the answer? Which religion can give? Tell me now. What next? No answer for Buddhism. What next? No answer for Jainism. What next? Islam, no answer. Either you go to heaven after death or you go to Vaikuntha or you go to Shaiva, you know, Kailasa. What next? Other? Next? No, next. Go to Kailasa or go to Vaikuntha or go to Swarga. But Hindu Dharma talks what is next. Vaidika Dharma talks what next after religion. Religion is like a mother's womb. You have to come out and grow in this universe. Baby says, I am very comfortable in my mother's womb. I need not fight for job, school, admission and all. Let me stay in my mother's womb. Baby thinks, suppose, after 10 months, what will happen? Imagine, all mothers, <laughs> I am a sannyasi, you know better. Uh, if a baby feels comfortable, amma inside womb um, so nice, uh, baby continues after 10 months, uh, no mother wants. My dear baby, come out <laughs> fast. You are not supposed to stay inside. It is harm to you also, it is harm to me also. Harm to the mother also, harm to the baby also. Yes or no? Yes. Say loudly. Yes. yes. Religion is also like that. If you don't know religion up to what extent, up to what extent I have to follow, then what next if you don't know that religion will become an obstacle. That is what becoming to the other religions problem. In Islam, Christianity, they have a biggest problem. Imperialism, in the name of religion, they are just want to encroach, dominate in the name of you know, religion, destroying the people. Is it a religion? 
which the swami ji declared all religions cannot lead to the same goal then the swami says all religions cannot lead to the same goal don't destroy any cultures let them survive who survive let them survive you have no right to destroy any culture in the world wherever they are what right you have got to destroy other cultures swami ji declared from the world religious conference therefore we the sanatanis who are living in this culture following sanatana dharma vaidika dharma we all have lot of responsibility to protect this vaidika dharma for the sake of universe for sake of yourself and for the sake of universe then only the peace and harmony will continue on the globe only that can be done by sanatana dharma no other religion can do that because religion is one part veda addressing that you are all amrutasya putraha you are consciousness existence principle you are ananda swarupa don't stuck to with some religious practices only you have to enter the religion now um, baby says no 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 i don't want to enter the mother's womb i want to come amma amma how mother baby can come out without mother's womb mother womb is required and leaving renouncing the mother's womb also required yes or no religion is also like that vaidik dharma is required is a type of religion if at all you want we don't know the word of religion before vaidik dharma only was there all religious practices karma kanda upasana kanda wonderfully practice understand then you grow mature whatever practices you do doesn't matter but come to sanatana dharma vaidik vedic knowledge wisdom final atmanya moksha liberation that is addressed only in vedas vedanta upanishads this is addressed that is why we all must know the greatness of our culture the greatness of our hindu dharma the greatness of vedas vaidika dharma i have to follow implement and i have to give to my children and to this entire society i have lot of responsibility all of you should keep the hand on your chest i love you uh, not only me i have lot of responsibility to give this knowledge to my children <coughs> to my society to the entire humanity don't uh, think you are some ordinary housewife uh, householder you are sanatan you have that uh, power of uh, this culture where you brought up and you have to learn and mature and first make your children to understand this great culture when can you make them to understand when you understand how you understand when you attend like this camps so what is the publicity come to the next year <laughs> and that's all okay more tomorrow please <clears throat> om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachchate पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्य ओ शाति 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 हरि हरि